14 fighting for what's right at Popico Park. A group of trail enthusiasts is taking action at one of Phoenix's points of pride. It is so beautiful. It's a very doable hike. All of it's happening near Priest Drive in Van Buren. We are hearing, too, that changes are coming. We want to check in with our Jamie Warren. She's live this morning. And, Jamie, this really is about protecting this jewel. It is a jewel in the desert, at least it has been described that way. In fact, Papago was once a national monument, but that designation was abolished back in the 1930s because of its deterioration. And now advocates tell me these worn out signs, which you can't even read. You'll see some of it has actually been replaced with tape. So you know what it says. This is just one of the many things they would like to see fixed. We're not treating these parks as we should. They're literally jewels. They're gifts to our entire community. They're lifesavers. It's people's, you know, solace. It's their refuge. It's their therapy. We should take care of our parks. We should take care of our preserves. I don't think people realize um, how lucky we are to have those. It doesn't matter what income stream you come from. You can enjoy it for free. That's Jess Dobson, Kelly Shalia, showing me around their place of solace and some of the areas in need of fixing. Right here, that's supposed to be water. They tell me a group of advocates recently filed a complaint with the city when they noticed a couple of things were going without maintenance. That included tall, invasive plants known as reeds, believed to be a fire hazard in the lagoon, and unreadable signage. A City of Phoenix spokesperson tells me they're now working to address those issues. But both hikers say they believe more money from the Parks Department needs to go into more cleanup by park staff as well. It hurts my soul to come out here when I come to the cleanups. We never clean up less than 500 pounds. They often spend their weekends picking up pounds of trash on their own with other volunteers. The squeaky wheel gets the grease and we've got to go squeak a lot when we see something like this going on. And I know that neighborhood parks and stuff are really important, but this affects thousands of people. There are so many visitors. So the ladies also gave me some documentation that shows just how much money has gone into other projects not here at Papago, including renovating a parking lot across the street for the zoo that cost millions of dollars. So I asked the city of Phoenix about this along with their other concerns. They did send me some additional information on this. They tell me that the signs will be fixed by early next year. Removing the reeds could take a little bit longer. Anticipated completion for that is next summer. Now, whether these plans stay on track, that is yet to be seen. And when I did ask if more money and resources will go into cleanup here, I was told that staff already cleans up the park on a regular basis. So I think the main takeaway here, at least from the hikers I spoke with, is that they want to see everyone just being courteous while out on the trails and doing their best to clean up after themselves, because this really is a gem here for us in the valley. Nick and Kaylee. And this is great awareness, too, if we're thinking about it. If we all just pick up a little bit as we're moving along, they don't have to pick up 500 pounds. I mean, that's an astonishing number. Thank you, Jamie.